If this goes on for much longer, I'll be out of a job. Yes, you will. And I know why. And how could you know that? Fresh out of law school you are, and you think you know the answer. I do. You see, people have lost faith in the private investigators, particularly the ones that go around dressed like Sherlock Holmes or Father Brown. We're not in England, after all. My method of investigation works, Robert. Your college textbooks are useless in the real world, and that goes for most curriculum taught at universities. People just have more faith in a government-run operation. Government. Give someone money and power, and everybody thinks he's going to solve all their problems. There you go again. The police already have a lowly opinion of you, Jack. Let them. What do I care? You will when they throw you in jail. I've never given them a reason for that. What charge could they give? Jealousy? Still, you may want to try a more favorable approach with them. They might recommend you to people. I'm not going to eat out of their hands. You may have to. You have a client, sir. I must beg her here to see you. Thank you, Mary. I'll be with her shortly. graduated fifth in my class. But don't you remember my... I'm... Sarah... Sarah... Rachel, what's my last name? Perhaps you'd better come with me into my office. Uh, Mary, would you take care of Miss... Miss whatever her name is? Uh, you too, Robert. Reduced to babysitting. I knew I should have taken a job with special ops. Well now, what can I do for you, Miss Baker? I want to know what's going on, Mr. Stewart. You see, there's an old abandoned building near my house, and I can't make anything of what's going on there. It's an old historical building, and it has some visitors every once in a while. What kind of visitors? Oh, you know, just average people. I see. Go on. Well, anyway, about three weeks ago, the visitors started acting really odd. Odd? How so? They go in, and they come out rather excitable. And they forget things, too. Like, <clears throat> this one. Mm -hmm. Very curious. Have you ever been in this house? Once, a long time ago. Do you remember anything odd about it? Not a thing. Do you know anyone who's been in there recently? Oh, they come in all the time where I work. And where is that? At the little cafe down the corner. Hmm. Well, I think the first order of business would be to talk to one of these people. You don't know what a disturbance this is to all of us. Those people come prowling around at night, making such a racket. Well, I can promise you peace of mind when I'm through with your Miss Baker. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. I'll stop by the cafe tomorrow afternoon. Jackie, do you remember me yet? Uh, not yet. Uh, goodbye now. What? Come on. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks for handling her, you two. Not a problem. <laughs> it is for me. I signed on to investigate, not to perform actions that belong in a mental institution. You'll get your chance, Robert, sooner than you think. Oh, oh, by the way, I'll be gone tomorrow. Of course you will. You'll be investigating. No, Robert. This is the boring part. So this is our first case for months? It appears so. Well, come on. Tell us. Yes, Jack. Tell us. Well, it has to do with strange people coming from an abandoned house. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds a little so like science fiction to me. Well, thanks to the people with all the money, it has become reality. You'll be singing a different song when you have the money. If I get a chance to. You won't get a chance to if you keep doing things this way. And what way is that? Not going to the scene of the crime before you ask these questions. I suppose it said that in your textbook, too, huh? Actually, it didn't. Amazing. Well then, 
Will you be ready at noon tomorrow to learn some more things that aren't in your textbooks? I'll be there bright and early.